Hello, hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about the Moby Wrap. Comes in many colors, not so much shapes and sizes, but I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna share what I like about it and I will be showing you how to put it on. All right, so as a first time mom, I was super excited to create my registry when I got pregnant and just to add a bunch of things, like a million things. And this is one of the things that I saw was really popular and I didn't know if I should add it, but then I kept seeing everybody having them. There's Moby wraps, there's other kind of wraps, but this one was really popular. So I got it and um, I actually used it for all three of my kids. I didn't use it past three months. Just because your baby grows and it gets really uncomfortable eventually, the baby gets too big and it gets too hot and they're kind of squirming all over the place. So this is really good for the first three months, I would say, if your baby's not that big. After that, I moved on to the Ergo Baby, which is for bigger kids. It gives you more space so you don't get all sweaty and gross. And the babies can face forward with their little feet dangling and stuff. So that one's really nice. Um, the Moby Wrap is really nice because, um, especially I've noticed with like moms that have colicky babies or that just want to be held either to fall asleep or they're just tummy issues, um, the Moby Wrap is really nice to wrap the baby up on you and then have your hands free to either help with your other kid, do the dishes, do your hair, because you know, we don't really have time for that as moms, not always. But the Moby Wrap is really nice to have your hands free. Also, I, me and my husband really love to go on walks, go to the park. So we would always put on this Moby Wrap and just go for a stroll. I could have a cup of coffee in my hand because we know that moms live on coffee. Oh, coffee in one hand. I had my phone in my other hand and then my baby was just chilling on my chest. And um, I could take pictures, I could drink my coffee. So that is why I love this Moby Wrap. Okay, so these Moby Wraps, um, they I think run for about $50, but um, I've noticed that since people don't use them for long, they resell them. So check your offer up, check your Mercari, Craigslist, anything local. These people don't really keep these along, um, around for long, so if you're not really grossed out by that, you can definitely find it cheaper. Um, and I've seen them go for like $15, $20 um, resold. So um, yeah, just because you can wash it and just reuse it if you want to, or you could always ask your friends and family. So once you open it, it's got this um, little instructions book, which is nice, and this safety or recall paper. Anyways, I got this pretty little color. It's black with these little triangles really cute design they have many different colors and um, yeah so I'm gonna show you how to put it on all right so I actually use this mobile wrap a lot in the first few months so I definitely don't I definitely do think it's worth it it's good to have there's a bunch of different wraps there's a bunch of different brands but I did try one with like the ring on it I don't know what it was called the brand but that one was really scary because a few times when my baby was a little big or even she was like two months or something but that ring kind of came undone and if i wasn't holding my baby my baby would have fallen it was literally just kind of like a wrap with like the ring and you kind of put it through i have no idea but it came undone a couple of times and after that i was like no way i'm never using that thing again just because i do not want my baby to fall on the floor so this is really nice it's really good security um it's a good way to keep your baby really like bundled and close up to you and it's safe. I would say it's definitely safe compared to other ones that can come undone. As long as you put it on properly, you have to be really careful and just monitor your baby. Make sure their face is not into your chest and that they have room to breathe. So yeah, I really like this thing. All right, so out of this huge thing, you have to find the middle and you will do that when you find this little tag. <clears throat> so, you take this and you fold it in half like this. I don't even know how to fold myself. Okay, so you fold it up like this just so that it's half like this. And you kind of have to do that through the whole thing. And once you locate the half, the middle, you're gonna wrap it around your chest like this and you're 
we're gonna cross it over the back like this. Okay, so once you do that, you're just gonna have to keep it crossed straight, but as you're doing that, I'm just gonna hold it with my leg, but once you cross over, let's say this side, you have to bring it over your back like this. And then, same thing with this. So, as you can see, I crossed it over like this, and I'm just gonna swing it over my shoulder like this. Gotta fix my clothes, looking all wacky. Okay, ta-da! Now I look like I'm, I don't know what, Middle Eastern. All right, so, got it like this. I kind of look like Aladdin, don't I? Okay, so you take this like this, like this, and you open this little kangaroo pouch and you drop it in like that. And I want my baby to be on my left side just because I'm right-handed and I can kind of do more things with this hand. So this side's gonna go on the bottom and then this side's gonna go on top like this. And you see there's, a, I'm still keeping some room here like that, and then I'm gonna make it nice and neat. All right, and you have to keep in mind that you gotta keep this little inside pouch like this. Um, all right, so once you do that, you cross it over like that, and then you come to the back and you're gonna just cross it over. You don't need to do anything fancy, just cross it. And then you got this leftover, so you can either split it in the middle. I like to do it to this side. Let's do it to this side. Um, gotta hide this part, it's actually this side. And then you just do your little knot. You can double knot, triple knot, whatever makes you feel better. So then you got this ugly little tag, so I'm gonna kind of roll it into like that and I am going to tuck it in and hide it. My shorts are all tangled in here. All right, anyways, so I'm going to tuck this part in like that. And, all right, so now I'm left with this. And then here's, I guess, the tricky part, but let me go get a baby. All right, so I remember when your baby's a little heavier, you might need some assistance, but this is how you do it. I just got this baby because my baby's too big for this. She's already one, but let's pretend this is my baby. She's happy. Okay, so you take this little insert, so you know how you folded it, and you gotta place your baby gently, like this. And I think, yeah, I had my baby facing me like this. And then you gotta put their feet in like that, and like that. And then you take the other side and make sure you Got the insert kind of back against you, but then the, put the side over like this. And then, you, like I said, that little kangaroo pouch, you just take the inside of it and you just fold it up just where the little tag thing is. And just like that, your baby is inside. And you could either cover their head like this. Um, you gotta always be careful and make sure your baby has space to breathe that they're not suffocating in there you could always have a pacifier but make sure you're always aware of them and their breathing area so that they have um, no chance of like suffocating into you because that is so scary but anyways so you got to keep them like this and look look how cute little baby and mama and so you could do it on the other side and then um, this is a perfect way for the baby to fall asleep Sometimes when they're bigger, it kind of is more like that and it gets uncomfortable when they get heavier, but this is like perfect for like the newborn stage. Also, um, this is nice just to like, uh, this is really nice when you go on vlogs, you have your hands free, when you have a toddler, when you're cooking, if you're cleaning, it's nice to put the baby down, you know, obviously it's that extra weight off of you, but this is how you keep them close. Yeah, I probably look like a weirdo right now. But anyways, yeah, so that's it. Super easy, super simple. And then just to take them out, you can just kind of slide it out and pull your baby out, put them down, and then the whole thing. Super easy, you could take this off however you want, but it just work backwards. 
so yeah hope you guys like that little tutorial I know it was probably really simple the instructions are on the box if anything but I am a visual person so this is how I learned is by watching videos so all right thank you guys for watching that little tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video